today we celebrate and we rejoice because today is the birthday of the church. You know what happened 2,000 years ago? The apostles were gathering together with a blessed mother and the Holy Spirit came upon them and fire of land of fire and they were speaking in different languages as they proclaimed uh, God's love and mercy. It was in that time that the Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles and the disciples and also the fruits and the effects of the Holy Spirit to the completion of the work of redemption, the fullness of grace for the church and its members. The gift of faith for all nations, people from north, south, east, west, have been glorified and manifest the Holy Spirit. And that day, the, 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 the church was also manifest to, uh, to all nations to receive God's grace, to uh, make us to help us to make us to be present in our church and communicate the word of salvation to the unity of the church and to all the members to the end of, of his days. Today's gospel, uh, the Lord speaks about that too. That on the last the great day of the feast, Jesus stood at the midst and exclaimed, Let anyone who thirsts come to me and drink. What are those words? He's talking about that. That in our lives, we sometimes encounter good things and, and sometimes uh, challenges, uh, good things and blessings and, and all the other situations in our lives. But in the middle of those situations and the good things and bad things, the Lord always never, never abandon us. He always promised to be with us to the end of the age. That is the reason He, he sent the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God the Father, and God the, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit that He empowered the minds and the hearts of the believers. That we receive God's grace, and also along with them we see the, the gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit to strengthen us, to help us to guide our lives when sometimes we are not really listening carefully the commands of Jesus Christ and the other Father. And this solemnity and the Feast of Pentecost give us that hope that we are not alone, that Jesus Christ has the power and the authority of everything, of anyone. He's the one who conquers death, darkness, and give us life in Him to the Holy Spirit. That we are His members, we rejoice and celebrate His presence among us. And, this, and the first reading to uh, second reading to the part of the Romans, uh, Paul said that to us, brothers and sisters, we know that creation is growing on labor pains even until now, and not only that. But ourselves. Yes. Paul is talking about that as in times in our creation, in, in, in nowadays, we may encounter difficulties, by an example of this with this pandemic and many other things. But we have received the fruits of the Holy Spirit and also growing in ourselves, the Holy Spirit to give us that strength to our bodies and to help us to overcome those situations. And he said that clearly, for in hope we were saved, no hope that sees what is not hope. For who hopes what we want to see, we hope that we cannot see, we wait with endurance. Yes, we wait to the promises of God to send the Holy Spirit to come to our rescue, to help us, to intercede for us, to advocate for us when we are sometimes disappointed when we are uh, worried about things, when we are in fears, the Holy Spirit comes to you and to me and to all believers to strengthen us and give us the peace, the comfort, and the consolation that we need in those moments. The question we may ask is, how many of you have experienced 
the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. How many of you have prayed to the Holy Spirit to help us to receive His mighty love, His mighty kindness into our hearts when we, when we need it in those situations? We are the ones who are called to do so. We are the ones who invite, invoke and invite the Holy Spirit to come to us to receive God's grace that can penetrate our hearts and our minds and feel His presence, feel His love. If we are distressed, we are the Holy Spirit, Lord, come to me and don't let my heart be in trouble. Come, enter and fill me with your presence that I can feel your love and your kindness sustain me in those circumstances. But we have to believe that. We have to believe and ask for those blessings. Otherwise, it's going to be harder when we don't ask for those blessings. Because you know that life is full of surprises. We might encounter all the situations. But who are the one who conquered those situations? The one who trusts in Jesus Christ and asks the Holy Spirit to guide us. And today, that proclamation is fulfilled because the Holy Spirit come to be with us, to all believers, and we to rejoice, because it's the Holy Spirit who always guides us to that truth, always guides us to do what is the will of the Father, and the Lord uses us, and He wants us to receive it, and to experience that in your life, that whatever you do, whatever you, you do, may express the love of the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ and God in your heart and you proclaim it with that great conviction and great love. Yes, this is who I am. I am a Christian because Christ loves me and He comes to me anytime I ask for His help and ask the Holy Spirit to restore and to renew my heart and my mind and give me life. Let us pray for that. Let us pray to the Holy Spirit to renew our hearts and our minds that we'll be able to receive it and be open to it. And to the Holy Spirit, our hearts and our minds be in communion with Jesus Christ, with the creation, with one another, and make the kingdom of Christ to be alive among us. That we as a family, as members of this community, as individuals, we show that and proclaim that Christ is calling me to share to others that it is through His love, through His kindness, and through His, and through His mercy that we can live together and make our faith and our lives to be messengers of Christ. We are the ones who are called to do so. We have to believe that. We have to believe that and also ask the Lord to help us to accomplish His mission in our lives. Whatever you are in life, as a married couple, as teenagers, as a priest, as a community, as a single person, asking the Lord to help us to fulfill our calling and to do it in the name of Jesus Christ with the help of the Holy Spirit. May this celebration of Pentecost give us that, that hope and inspire us to bear fruit in our lives, to be witness of the truth of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, always showing to others patience, kindness, love, mercy, compassion. All what I mentioned are the fruits and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. This is who we are. If we don't ask for those gifts and for those fruits, how can our hearts receive it? But we don't even ask. We don't even, yes, know how to do it. This is, this is the, the, the most beautiful experience that God unites us, humanity, with divinity, to the Holy Spirit. We came together. That's why we say that we are the temple of 
the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit really is here in our heart when we were baptized. But we have to allow the Holy Spirit to work within us, to help us to bear fruit. Always do what Christ is asking us to do it. He's the model. He's the one who teaches us how to do it. He's our master. He's the one who, who, who calls us uh, to be always his friends, his followers, his companion. How do you feel about that? How many of you want to follow Jesus Christ and be his friends? Raise your hands. That's good. We are longing for that. We are longing to be friends of Jesus Christ. We are longing to be his co-workers. We are longing to make the kingdom of Christ to be at hand. Where? In your mouth, in your heart, and on the nights. This is what we celebrate today. Today we celebrate the burden of the church. And the Lord reminds us that he wanna be there for us at the end of the age. He never abandoned us. That is the reason He sent the Holy Spirit to communicate to us His mercy, His love, His divinity. And not only that, and the Holy Eucharist that we're going to receive in a minute, is also that the Lord is sending us to the Holy Eucharist to, to fill our hearts with His gifts and with His love. That we receive both Jesus Christ and the Holy Eucharist, and also the Holy Spirit that we went to receive at Pentecost. And to this communion with Christ and the Holy Spirit, our hearts rejoice, our lives is full of God's grace to help us to always say to us, Thank you, God, for creating me the image, the likeness of your Son and you. Help me to your Holy Spirit to purify my thoughts to sanctify my actions, to, to really transform my life and make us to be an image of your presence. This is who we are. We are the image of Christ's love. We are Christians because Christ loves us. And through his love, we can love ourselves and love one another. But I do it in the name of Jesus Christ and with the help of the Holy Spirit. Finally, if you have anything that sometimes is lacking of the Holy Spirit, whatever it might be, like in a patience, like in a kindness, like in a prayer, like in a trust, like in a whatever it might be, I encourage you, when you can receive the Holy Eucharist, ask, maybe one or two or three times, but I think when I ask the Lord, that to this Holy Communion, may our lights and our hearts be with Him. That he will help us to experience his love. That he will help us to help us how to be more patient, how to be more kind. And you will be surprised what the Lord in the Holy Spirit can do in our lives. Because everything is possible if we trust in Jesus and we ask the Holy Spirit for those blessings. Let's pray for that. Let's pray for that. Pray for for this parish, pray for our country, pray for our church, pray for, uh, for the youth, pray for all of you, parents, that all together we celebrate Christ's love and identify more with Christ. That whatever you do out there later on this week, you will remember, I am a Christian. The Lord has called me to always to love creation and to participate in the divine plan and to share the love to one another with the grace of the Holy Spirit. You may not understand that, ask the Holy Spirit for guidance. Ask the Holy Spirit to help us to overcome those situations. And the Lord comes to you and will help you how to find the right path and become his friends and co-workers.